Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Talk Disney. So today we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna be doing a DIY for Disney Clings. Now I saw this idea on YouTube about a few weeks ago and I thought it was the coolest thing. And having an upcoming Disney trip, I was like, wow, I really need to do this. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know this, but Disney door and window decorating has become very popular in the parks nowadays, so I figured why not give it a try. So let's talk Disney. So one reason I really love this Disney DIY is because it is super cheap and easy to do. All you need is tape, scissors, parchment paper, so for those of you who do not know, parchment paper is this kind of material, and puffy paint. So for the puffy paint, I got a 12 pack from Walmart and it was $10, so very cheap, and if you already know that you don't want anything that's going to involve a lot of color. You can get individual ones, which I also did because red was not included, and the individual ones from Walmart were 97 cents each. So if you know you're only going to need like five colors, that's definitely the way to go. And last but not least, you are going to need a board. Now mine has a lot of tape on it because I've already used it, but just a board. This is so when you go to make yours, where did you go? You can tape the parchment paper like on here so it doesn't slide around. And another thing you need, which is optional, is a printout. So for these, I printed an image off the internet and you put that underneath the parchment paper so it kind of acts like tracing paper and you simply outline. But even if you are a wonderful artist and do not need an outline to follow, you definitely still need to use parchment paper and you want to make sure you are doing it on the waxy side. So now that we have all our materials, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your parchment paper. Once again, make sure the waxy side is facing up. That way the puffy paint will stick to it and it'll be easier to get off. You're gonna tape it over top of whatever you've printed out. If you haven't printed anything out, that's fine. Just tape it to the board. And the reason you tape it to the board is because it does take two days to dry. So because of that, you want to make sure you can move it. And you also want to make sure it doesn't move on you when you are outlining it. So next you're going to actually outline it. You can outline it in whatever color. I chose black for this one. Also note that you might have to go over top of it more than once because as you'll see, I did miss some spots. But that's okay, you can go right back over it. Once you're done with that, you're going to pick a color to fill it in with. I chose red. Now, normally I make an outline outside of what I'm doing just because it doesn't smear as much. If the colors do start to bleed together, wipe off your nozzle, as you can see I'm doing, because it will get whatever color you outlined with everywhere. So definitely make sure that you wipe that off. And if there's any excess color on the inside, you can always go back over that as well. Just as with the outline, you might need to go over this more than once, just depending on if you missed any spots. After that, you just need to let it dry for two days, and that's it. Side note for this video, uh, these clings do take two days to dry, so this isn't the type of project you want to be doing hours before you leave for your Disney trip. I did mine like weeks in advance to be sure. And another thing you want to do is peel them off of their paper. When I peeled Sebastian off of his paper, I noticed that he was definitely missing a lot of spots. You could see through certain areas, which still is the case. So I'll probably go over him again. And he was very, very thin. 
So being very thin, he was risking being ripped. So I just went over him again. So if you start to peel them and you notice that it's not gonna work, stick them back on and redo them. I figured I should also show you guys the window clings that I made. I am not an artist in any way, shape, or form, so some of these did not come out the way I expected. I will also say that doing a silhouette is a lot easier than doing just color. So I just showed you Sebastian. Here is Flounder. This next one is very rough, so bear with me here, but I have Ariel. I also didn't have the correct colors for her, so it made it very hard to make Ariel. But I knew that, so I made a backup, which was a silhouette of her. These are off the parchment paper, so it might be a little hard to see. All right, and then we are also going during Memorial Day weekend, so I thought it would be cool to make a few red, white, and blue Mickeys that I can use as a border. So I have two sets of each color. And I also created a larger, yikes, red, white, and blue one. So once again, these are very easy to make and they're super fun and it's a very great creative way to decorate your door. All right, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.